So M1, M1 podcast comes after all that. But yeah. what about um, things like um, Unprovoked? Yeah. When oh, yeah. that? Because that's new, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know what's so mad about Unprovoked, bro? Like, GRM came in early, you know. They came in earlier than anyone would have expected. Oh, so. really? Yeah, GRM came in very early. GRM, literally like a year ago today, yeah. they emailed me. Okay. Yeah, they emailed me like, not today, you know, but it was January 2022. Man, like, post, you know. So, yeah, 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 they emailed me. But it was mad how they reached out to me, though. Okay, I was like, I remember they emailed, man, yeah, just randomly. And the old bear, man, there was a brand new email that I created, innit? Like, and they emailed me like a week after I created the email. So I'm looking, how the fuck did you get this email, bro? Because I ain't, I ain't giving it to nobody. To this day, I don't know how they got the email, innit? Like an agency or nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah. I, I don't know how to, to this day, I don't know how they got the email, innit? But obviously, it's God's work, innit? They yeah, found yeah. it. God just gave it to them. That's one thing that, they, you know, that's good you said that for the youth, what you used to watch in Makar. Mm. One thing that people overestimate, yeah? It's God, bro. No, it's not, yeah. God won, of course. Oh, Amen. Oh, oh. But in terms, but away from God, it's about the fact that if someone really wants to fuck with you, they'll find you. Yeah, facts, 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 facts. A lot facts. of people, they go around asking for attention. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, and that could work but it i might. feel like in terms of just longevity and staying true to yourself bro it, the people so that are meant for you will find you, 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 trying to say. you so yeah now what i'm saying is they've they've emailed man randomly just saying yo are you free for a zoom meeting tomorrow mm. i'm like what the hell like no hi no are you still alive like are you okay like are you have you got covid no no nothing <laughs> nothing you get to say just are you got available for a meeting tomorrow i'm <laughs> thinking who's this so i've looked at the email and i said a name at grm.com or grm whatever yeah, the email thing is yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm thinking what so I've replied saying, who's this and what's it for? You get what I'm trying to say? And Dave said, oh, uh, sorry, let me introduce myself. Red Tet, uh, GRM Daily, we're interested in your content. Red Tet, you know what I'm trying to say? <coughs> literally, a year ago, at this point, all I'm really doing is M1. That's all man's really doing. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, get yeah, me? Yeah. And the fact that they scoured me from there, it shows you like how tapped in the people at the top are. You get me, car? In my head, I would have never it's thought... It's a job to be, you know. What? It's a job to be, bro. To stay at the yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ready, but you, in my head, man, never would have thought that GRM Daily were ready to give man a platform to be myself. You feel me? Mm. So they reached out to me literally like a year ago, yeah. And obviously, they just said to me like, "Yo, we want to work with you. We want to like make you the face of our our platform, basically." You get me? Mm. And obviously, we were co- constantly chopping it up, bare zoo meetings and that, just like bouncing ideas off each other. And then unprovoked, yeah, it was a weird one. Cause I remember one time they came up to me saying that they wanted to me to do like an interview series, in it. Yeah. But yeah, the yeah. way he said it to me was more like a Vlad TV style interview. Yeah. yeah you know, like yeah, when you yeah, can't yeah. see Behind me, the... you can hear, you just hear my yeah, voice. Nah, like, that don't make get sense. Me? It, it still could have worked, in it. Nah, I know. But at the same time, the same though, though, but but I said to my, to myself, I feel like I can develop the idea. You get me? Mm. So I've come across one show on YouTube. Literally that week, yeah, I came across a show called um sunday conversations with and it's with some white in america in it he's some white with blonde hair he's got like he wears like a shirt and that okay and he just like he does what i do on unprovoked isn't it? he like interrogates the rappers but his thing is more like lighthearted and they just says dumb shit you yeah, get yeah, he's yeah, not really yeah, like yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah. answers out of them you get me and then i looked at that and i thought right like man can, good like, base. man can take that inspiration and, and build something off it you feel me and it's so funny yeah there's an American YouTuber called Funny Marco in it, yeah, 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 yeah. and everyone thinks that I got unprovoked from him. Everyone thinks that because of because his show is basically the same as mine, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it because it came out before people think I got the idea from him, but they don't know that unprovoked was in the works since like May last year. You know what I'm trying to say? Right. Before I ever seen, before I even like ever seen an episode of my man show, yeah, yeah. man already had the idea. We was ready to do it. He was the book, everything. You get me? Mm. And just timing that his thing came out first. Everyone so thinks, co- yeah? yeah, my man, okay. yeah, my man, yeah. Everyone thinks, it, so. everyone thinks I copied him in it, but now nah, obviously. It's yeah, edited as well, though. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, yeah unprovoked. I, I think we filmed the first episode in like May. It didn't drop till like August or something. Mm. Yeah, we held so on to it. Like, bro, it was the, the process was so was long. The first episode? Boost, Tiny Boost. It was Boost, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the Tiny yeah. Boost. And that then back OG, we got I'm V9. Boost at the start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then obviously, Quang Face, we got one with Quang Face dropping soon as well. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, then we're going to start filming again, ready for the new year, man, literally. But yeah, unprovoked. Do you think they're getting enough views in it? And the views, I don't know, you know, it's when a project is new, yeah, you can't watch the views too no, much. You can't. You feel like you got, like, but I'm not going to lie, man's happy, like, because all the um, episodes are on, like, the same, like, 100k views, in Yeah, yeah similar. And, like, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. podcast world, that's good. That's, that's, a lot. Yeah, that, that's pretty bro. good, like, 100k views on each. But at the same time, the YouTube views got, are slowed down now. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah, obviously, you'd think because it got better subscribers than that, but really, it don't work like that. Yeah, even, even, even if you look at their music videos, the music videos ain't all getting... Bare and, views and work, more you know time they're there for the music video that's what I'm saying that's what I'm that saying so well. so yeah literally yeah, man yeah, the yeah, things now like I feel like we've built like a core fan base and we there's like a market for that show now people want to see it mm. so yeah man's ready man's ready to go from here so yeah yeah I love that I love that I love doing the show so like, I can't lie I feel like it probably brings out man's personality you know what I'm trying to say are you, are, you, are you ever concerned that one of the you you're not going to have a good rapport with and you're going to piss them off and they're going to want to fight you 
Um, you, you know, it's like I do think that nah, 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 I'm not gonna pretend like I don't give a fuck. In the back of my mind, I think that, but I just think like, right, like the more of a reaction I get out of you, the better the show's gonna yeah, be. You feel me? Like, like, look at back row G. Like with back row G, yeah, you'd think that me and him were brethren the way we were bantering each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my first time meeting him. Yeah, I didn't even know it's I was cool gonna. Though, be, it? I didn't know I was gonna be interviewing him until like an hour or two before. Oh, like until that, that day, I think it was like the day or the night before the man I'm putting a group chat. Oh, I got back row G instead because we had meant to have someone else again. Okay, yeah, yeah, and then obviously, man didn't even prepare the interview. Yeah, but obviously. Obviously, we filmed two episodes before the back row G one in it, and obviously, I'm thinking, right, like, I feel like I need to prepare for this one to make man, sure man, that I smash out of the park. Yeah, I'm trying to say, nah, he's a good brother. So obviously, man, just typed in on YouTube, found a couple things, wrote a couple jokes down, and then you hear me. I can't lie, that's that's one of my favorite pieces of content I've ever done ever. That back row G interview, that, that was shit was oh, so funny. He's actually still. a good brother, car. He's, yeah. He fucks with my boy, he's Congolese, isn't it? He yeah, fucks yeah. with one of my G's, and we was at um, Belu- you know, Beluga, he had a birthday party in the garden with a marquee and that in the hood, in our hood, and that. And it's, it's litty, isn't it? And then obviously there's one you, he's just chatting to me, showing me love, yeah, with a Gucci, uh, uh, sorry, a Louis hat, Louis scarf. And then it's only like, you know, man's drunk off the Henny, yeah? yeah? And it's only like about eight sentences into him talking in my ear that I realised this guy sounds like that rapper. Because <laughs> the way he talks. That's how he talks. Do you get me? So I'm just like, oh yeah, well, God, man, you get me? And then he, he partied with us, fam. He's a good brother still. Yeah, he's a good brother still. Yeah. So that's your favourite piece of content? Yeah, 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 it is. Is like a standout piece that you feel was like the Yeah, like if I was to show someone like Billy the Goat in it, I'd probably show them that video still. Like I love that interview properly. Because so D, D done this um, same thing that you're doing kind of thing. Yeah, similar. Oh, swear down. Back in what year would you say? What year was it when you was doing um, the What's Link, this time? Link Up TV? Or was it GRM? It was GRM, innit? Oh, yeah, yeah show GRM? Yeah, oh, bro, swear bro, How long ago is this? So bro, talk your shit, man. Talk your shit. Innit? Bro's being humble. Because <laughs> they, they got their YouTube deleted Fuck back oh, in the day. Yeah, they did.